uh, Americans are struggling to pay their bills. The reason, of course, is inflation. I don't want to call it inflation. Let me call it what it is, the high prices. Those high prices, they were made in Washington. They are a cancer on the American dream. And as a result of the, of the high prices, people are struggling to pay their bills. I was looking at a, a report this week, Madam President, and I know you feel this in your state. People are having to borrow money to pay their bills. And they're having to borrow money on their credit cards. And I don't need to tell you that the interest on credit cards has gone up dramatically as a result of inflation. And the interest on the credit card is not like going to your bank where credit is tight. Because of inflation, interest rates on those credit cards has gone through the roof. Credit card interest rate in March was 21.51%. Uh, back in 2019, it was 15%. Delinquent payments on credit cards are also through the roof. 9.1%, the highest in a decade. Credit card balances are higher too. Auto loans, the average interest rate on a 60-month new car loan was 8.2% last May. That's up from 5.3% in 2019. And delinquency rates on auto loans are the highest they've been in 10 years. If you look at consumer debt, it's now, last year it hit $17 trillion. Not million, not billion, $17 trillion. It hit that number for last year for the first time. Inflation-adjusted debt is at its highest level since 2009. Now, I know some folks are thinking, yes, but inflation has come down. Yes, it has. But what does that mean? When inflation comes down, that's called disinflation. What does that mean? When inflation comes down, that just means prices are not rising as quickly as they were. That's all a reduction in inflation means. Prices are still going up, but they're not going up as quickly as they were. That's called disinflation. But prices are not going down. If prices were to go down, that would be called deflation. That would be called deflation. As Federal Reserve Chair Powell and Treasury Secretary Yellen have both testified in front of the Banking Committee, and I hate to say this, unless we do something, these high prices are permanent. They are permanent. There are only two ways to reduce these prices. One is to go into a recession. China is in a recession. Prices in China are going down. It's too big of a price to pay. I don't want us to go into a recession, people to lose their jobs in order to get prices down. The only other alternative is to grow out of the inflation, to lift people up, to increase wages at the low end of the wage scale, at the middle, and at the upper end of the wage scale. Help everybody. And 5,000 years of human history has taught us that you cannot increase wealth you cannot increase individuals' income. Can't be done without increasing output. So, Madam President, we in the Senate are going to have to put our heads together and figure out how to grow this economy. Not at 1.5%, not at 2%, which has become the norm. We break 2% GDP growth now, and we want to have a toga party. That, we shouldn't settle for 2%. We need 3% growth to lift everybody up.